given up birth control very successfully and I cannot wait to share my story with you guys. Honestly, I'm gonna include a lot of weird stuff in this video, things you might not wanna hear. And honestly, if my mom watches this video, I'll probably be embarrassed. So mom, maybe you click off. But for the rest of you lovely ladies, definitely stay tuned for this if you are trying to get off birth control and you wanna know what I did to make this successful. And I will talk about absolutely every detail. Every detail, I swear. Uh, it's probably too many details. But anyways, I can't freaking wait. I've waited so long to film this, so if you're interested, Stay tuned, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the rest of this video. Okay, so let's first talk about my experience when I originally got off birth control like a year ago. It was horrible. I don't know if like you have a similar experience, but like I was so irritable and bitchy. I was like just attacking Kyle left, right, and center. He's my fiance, the poor guy, but I'm like, Everything was just wrong and I also felt like it went like down a deep hole in the sense of like I felt hopeless I was like just irritated and I didn't really like not that I didn't necessarily connect it with birth control But when you're like in that mindset of like I'm miserable nothing is right like all that stuff It's just like hard to get out of it. It wasn't a fun time. So I agreed so did Kyle I was like I have got to get back on birth control. So then I did and then fast forward to basically like three or four months ago I was like doing a lot of research. I was listening to a lot of podcasts. I'm like, I do not want to be on the pill for the rest of my life. Like there are so many negative side effects. So I was like, I'm going to work with my naturopath, which if you saw my other videos, uh, check them out if you haven't. Uh, that kind of like shows a story more because uh, this is like not the end of the story, but this is like the third part of my experience. But I worked with my naturopath and she Oh my gosh, lifesaver. The supplements that she recommended changed the game. Like for sure, I solely believe that like I wouldn't have been able to do it without these supplements because I know because I've tried it before without them and uh, it was horrible. So I'm gonna go through all the questions. I posted a story on Instagram uh, and a bunch of people asked me things that they wanted to know. So I wrote those down. So I'm just gonna like have my notepad here. Uh, I'm gonna just keep this video, not casual, but just like, low key to the point that like I just want to answer your questions and be like super honest with you. So question number one was about skincare. So how my skin reacted. First time around uh, it was horrible. I broke out a ton. I had like a lot of pimples with like whiteheads. like it was just constant and I was like this sucks. They're hard to cover with makeup and I just was like really upset a lot. Uh, so I was like well I don't really miss that part of it. However, this time around, um, if you did watch those other videos about getting off birth control, you'd know that I was taking a supplement called Vitex, which helps balance out hormones. So I solely believe that the reason I haven't got a single pimple since getting off is because of this like hormone balancer. Cause, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna say it a lot. You'll, you'll be like, I need this freaking pill. You're gonna go on Amazon, like probably after this video. The next question was, do you notice any abdominal bloating? So. I actually didn't notice any bloating whatsoever. And on the plus side, I actually lost six pounds in three weeks. So it was very exciting. Uh, the first time around, I didn't lose um, any weight at all. And I was off the pill for three to four months, I believe. And yeah, I actually gained weight. So I think this time around was a lot better. So this is, I'm feeling good. I kind of feel like very like light, like I don't feel frumpy or anything. So as far as weight goes and stuff like that, great. Okay, so this is where it gets into the spicy stuff. And by spicy, I mean uncomfortable. So, dryness, like down in that area. So, when I was on birth control, I like read that like it causes dryness and stuff, but like I never really like thought too much about it, to be completely honest, until I got off the pill. And now, let's just say dryness is not an issue. Um, things are great down there for that uh, climate. And anyways, yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna move on from that. Hopefully no one judges me for saying that. But yeah, if you're if that's an issue for you, dryness down there, uh, get off the pill, cause that will fix it a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's never allowed on this couch, but it's a special moment. And if Kyle watches this video, which I don't know why he would, he's gonna kill me because he's not supposed to be on the couch. But anyways, um, so as far as depression and anxiety went, uh, my mood has been fantastic. Like I've even asked Kyle, I was like, what is the difference between like this time around versus last time when I was off birth control? And he's like, 
you can't even compare like last time I was a nightmare <laughs> and this time is so much better um, and I'm just like not as irritable except this is one thing if you've been following my journey about giving up refined sugar I find that when I actually have refined sugar the next morning I'm so irritable so like it's not I don't think related to birth control but I think it's related to hormones because like sugar just does not sit with me well so that's my correlation to like if I eat it at night if I had like ice cream or something like that the next morning I wake up and if like the kitchen's like a little bit messy or anything like that I just can't hold myself together but that wasn't I don't think anything to do with birth control I think it's to do with sugar so anyways I've been trying so hard to eat healthy um, and I'm doing a really good job actually so things are good mood is good a plus in that department the next thing is sex drive. So I read that it does like lower your sex drive when you are on the pill. It like my libido, I wouldn't say it was like bad, but like it's great now. So like that's a thing. I'm so uncomfortable. This is so weird. Like I have limits and like I'm crossing them. You know what I mean? Cuz uh yeah. Cuz I even did a video on menstrual cups. Like literally shoving a cup up my vagine and I was okay with it, but for some reason talking about my sex drive is a little uncomfortable but yes anyways to skim past this it was like mediocre before and now it's kind of insane so it's great it's like I'm just like a wild ball of fire it's fun anyways we're moving on Ooh, I'm excited about this one okay I was like chronic migraine girl that was like my name because like all the freaking time I had migraines they would last like three days it was absolutely horrible but fun fact since I got off birth control I haven't had a single migraine like I almost can't believe it myself I texted Kyle today and I was like did you freaking know that I haven't had a migraine like no heat packs ice packs a bathtub this that like it was like a whole scheduled thing it was awful like I would always have to do it it was horrible I'd have to like miss time off work things like that it was like really affecting my life um, and I couldn't work out like I could not even look at light I'd be basically by myself in the dark and no music, no sound, no nothing. And it was horrible. So now I'm really excited. I just wanted to like mention that because if someone has migraines or like headaches a lot, I haven't had a single one. I'm so excited. That's a big thing for me. So another question that I got on Instagram is when did you get your first period after you stopped? So I actually haven't got my period. I was gonna wait till I had it in order to do this video, but I wanted to share these things with you because I was really excited. Uh, but I use this app called Thermometer. I actually bought it off Amazon. So the app is free, but it actually gives you like a thermometer to use, which I don't use because I thought I needed that in order to, for them to like measure um, whether I was like fertile or not, but that's not the case. It goes off your period. So this app actually shows you, like right now it says my period is in two days um, and it like, in my calendar it'll show I don't know if you can see this but it will show if I'm like fertile when I'm not things like that um, so it's really honestly easy to use like you can add your temperature if you want there's lots of things you can put in this app it's actually a really good app um, one thing I was gonna say about it is oh yeah so my period so it's predicted to be in two days which I do believe is going to happen because this is like a weird thing and I don't think anyone has ever probably said this on YouTube but like I get like I have like a certain poo before my period that I know I'm gonna get my period so like Cass if you're watching this you'll know uh, but we always call it like period poo because it's just like it's just different I don't know how to explain it it's just different and you know and you're like oh yeah in the next couple days things are gonna happen uh, but yeah anyways I can't believe I just said that on YouTube but like do you know what hashtag no regrets so um hi buddy I'm sorry you're probably scarred for life if only you knew what I was talking about Okay, so I think I did cover everything that I wanted to. I will do another like update video uh, down the road, especially after I get my period. I know the last time my periods were just like a little bit more painful and longer, uh, but nothing to like really like complain about or anything. I would just rather have that and not be on birth control. So I will let you know, uh, just like a disclaimer though, I've never really had very painful periods. So if you're on the pill because it helps with pain, then that like might be like a deterrence for you to not get off it. But I just wanted to be honest with you that like I've never really had a huge issue with that. I can manage it very well. To be completely honest, I get very hyper on my period. Um, you probably think I have my period now because I'm so freaking hyper. I literally had decaf tea, like one cup, that's it. And I'm like, woo! So anyways, 
um subscribe like this video all that fun stuff i will continue on with my journey and showing you guys little updates i love it um don't forget to follow me on instagram because i post lots of stuff on there and information fun tips all that fun stuff so anyways thank you guys and i'll see you in my next video